All right, for our last example, I have chosen an equation that tends to have some numbers that aren't quite as nice. And so we're going to go ahead and start with the vertex. And we know that the vertex, the x value of the vertex, comes from negative b over 2a. Now, we know that that comes from the standard form of the equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, where c is the last constant, b is the number in front of the x, and a is the number in front of the x squared. So in this case, b is going to be negative 1. So negative negative 1 is positive 1, divided by 2 times a, which is 2. And you'll see that my x vertex, x of the vertex is going to be 1 fourth, or 0.25. Okay, now before I can put my vertex down, I need to find out what the y value of the vertex is. And so to get the y value of the vertex, I've got to go ahead and plug in x, which was 0.25, and put that into my equation here. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and pull up my calculator, and we're going to go 0.25 squared. All right, and then we will multiply that by 2, and then we're going to subtract the 0.25, and then we will subtract 6. So our y value is negative 6.125. So negative 6.125, and so I'm going to go on to my graph here. I'm going to go to about 0.25, so that's about a quarter, so between 0 and 1 there. And then I'll go down to negative 6. And 0.125, well, that's going to be just a little bit lower than the next there. So there's my vertex. Now I'm going to find the x-intercept. And so to find the x-intercept, we need the y value to be equal to 0. And so I'm going to set y equal to 0. And then I'll have 2x squared minus x minus 6. Now I know from chapter 9, the way to solve this equation is by factoring. There's not a common factor, so I'm just going to have to start with my trinomials here. So 2x and x will multiply to give me that 2x squared. Now I need the two numbers that will multiply to give me that negative 6, which is going to end up being 3 and 2. So I owe 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times x is 3. And I need a negative x, so we're going to make it a minus 2 and a plus 3. Now you'll notice that when I multiply those, the outside will give me negative 4x. The inside will give me positive 3x. And when I put those together, that's negative x. Just remember, if you don't get the right thing right off, make another guess. Switch the numbers around. Change the numbers up. Try 1 and 6. okay? And that way, you'll be able to get the correct factorization. Now I have two things that multiply together to give me 0. Any time two things multiply together to give me 0, one of those two has to be 0. So I've got 2x plus 3 equals 0, or x minus 2 equals 0. And I'm going to end up solving both of those. So we'll subtract the 3. So I've got 2x equals negative 3, divide by the 2. And x equals negative 3 over 2, which is the same thing as negative 1.5. So that'll be one of my x-intercepts right there. And then in this one, I'm just going to add 2 to each side. So x is equal to 2. And so I can put that one down. And you'll notice that the vertex is halfway between those two. Okay, If I average those two values, 2 and 1.5, then it will end up giving me that right there. Okay, Now let's go ahead and find the y-intercept. So the y-intercept comes when x is equal to 0. And so when x is equal to 0, I just have to plug that into the equation. So 2 times 
0 squared minus 0 minus 6. And you'll notice that both of those will be 0. So my y-intercept will be when y equals negative 6. And so I'll go ahead and put that one down. Now you should know that your axis of symmetry goes straight up and down through the vertex. So that'll be at 0.25. And so we're going to have our axis of symmetry going straight down here. I know it's not perfectly straight, but there's my axis of symmetry. So I'm going to go ahead and reflect this point to the other side, okay, which will be right there. Was it negative 6? And that's a quarter of a space away, so another quarter of a space away on the other side. And now I've got my five points, and I should be able to draw my graph. And so let's go ahead and put that down. So it should look something like this. And that's our graph, just like that. And that's what we're looking for.